Hi everyone, if you're a new viewer, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. I just wanted to quickly thank you for your support throughout every playlist I have been making. I've received a lot of really kind words, so thank you. Today, let's tackle number seven, almost increasing sequence from code signal. So let's get this one going. Here on the left side of my screen, I've got the code signal platform. I'm gonna be tackling number seven, almost increasing sequences. If you haven't seen the previous ones, you can see all the links in the playlist called code signal. But with this one, we will be tackling another easy one. So I'll run you through every small piece of information you need to tackle this one. But on the right side of my screen, I've got my Jupyter Lab. It will help me to teach you what I'm doing. So let's see what the task is. Here is the task. Given a sequence of integers, for example, one, three, two, one, a sequence of integers as an array, determine whether it is possible to obtain a strictly increasing sequence by removing no more than one element from the array. What does this really mean? Let me just quickly copy this code, put it in my Jupyter lab. You will see that the variable called sequence has one, three, two, and one. The question is, is this sequence strictly increasing when we only remove one element? What does that really mean in our terms? A strictly increasing sequence means that you only go up from left to right in value. So if you have one, three, two, one, this is not strictly increasing. It is going from one to three, dropping to two, and then drip, dropping to one. Okay, I understand. This is not a strictly increasing. Can I remove an element and make it strictly increasing? Well, I don't think so, because if I remove number three, it will be one, two, back to one. It's not a strictly increasing. What if I remove number two? When I have one, three, one, it's not a strictly increasing sequence. So we are expecting for this one to return false. However, with the second sequence, let me copy that one across as well. This is a strictly increasing sequence because yes, it is one, three, two. It's not strictly increasing now, but there is a chance for me to drop number three and I will have one and two. So it is strictly increasing. So for this one, it should say true. Let's see how to tackle this. I will go back to the previous sequence, so one, three, two, one. And I have been encouraging all of you to think as a human brain does. So when I'm looking at this sequence, my brain says, okay, Amir, you start deleting them one by one in your head and see if it's going to do the job. So let's do that. Let's write a for loop that one by one removes each element and makes a new sequence, and then we decide if it is strictly increasing. So let me show you how to write a for loop to drop each element at each stage. If you haven't seen my video on for loops, the link is up the top right, but for now, let's do it here. For i in range of length of sequence, I'll write a sequence every time dropping one element. So I will drop number one first, then I will have three, two, one. Then I will drop number three and I will have one, two, one. I will drop number two and I will have one, three, and one. And then finally, I will drop the last one. I will have one, three, two. So let me show you how to do that. Let's make a new variable and call it new sequence. And then let it be from sequence till i plus sequence from i plus one all the way. This way, if I print the new sequence, you will see that it's exactly what I said. So first round, we don't have the first one. We have three, two, one, that's down here. Then we drop number three and we will have one and two, one, that's down here and so forth. So now we know how to drop them. But now let's see at each iteration, is this strictly increasing by dropping only one? So I have to count how many times I have to drop one to have a strictly increasing sequence, if that makes sense. If the count is more than one, then it's not a strictly increasing because it's not what the task wants. The task wants me to be able to drop one and one time only to call it a strictly increasing. So for me to be able to do this, I need to make a new variable and call it is increasing. 
let's imagine this is strictly increasing. But if anything goes wrong, I will turn this tap the other way. So think about this variable as a tap. For now, I will say it is true. If I see anything wrong, I will turn the tap off. Now, you may ask, okay, how we take it from here? Let's make another for loop, this time getting a J variable to run over the length of new sequence because I have a new sequence every time, but minus one because I don't want to jump outside the length of new sequence. For example, in this example, the length of the new sequence is three. I have three elements there. But if I don't do this, it will jump out of the three into number four, but with what I'm going to do now. As an example, this is a new sequence. I have dropped something, which is number one here, and I want to see, is this increasing or is it decreasing? How does a human brain understand this? Well, a human brain looks at this and then at this. Is it increasing or is it decreasing? Looks at this and then this. Is it increasing or is it decreasing? That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna say in new sequence number J, if that one is greater than or equal to new sequence sitting at J plus one, so I said if, I didn't really write the if, let me write the if. If the one that is sitting here is greater or equal to that one, then it's not gonna be really increasing. And this J plus one is the reason why I dropped one from here, because I didn't want to jump out of the length of this new sequence. Because I'm adding one here, I am subtracting one here just in order not to go outside something that doesn't exist. All right, so if this one is greater or equal to that one, it's not increasing. If this one is greater or equal to that one, it's not increasing. So if this happens, you remember how I said we have a tap? Let's turn the tap off because is increasing now is false. And if the tap is closed, let's just break this loop. So just to remind you, this bigger for loop is going to create these new sequences for us. This smaller for loop goes through each sequence and checks, is this increasing or is this not increasing? And once it's done, I can write a last checkpoint. If is increasing, I am checking if it is true or false. So this sentence down here, is exactly equivalent to this. So in Python, you can either go if is increasing or if is increasing equals true. There are both the same thing. So if it is true, return true. Otherwise, return false. So let me quickly make this function here because I haven't created my function. What is it called? Solution and I will be getting sequence. I'm just copying what I can see here. I'm just copying the name of the function down here. Make sure you make you move everything forward. Okay, now let's try this one and see if it's gonna say false because we are expecting false here. Let's run that. I forgot to put the word in here. Let's run that again. And let's check that solution onto the sequence. You can see that for this one, I got false. That's what I was expecting. Let's copy the other example, copy that one, put it here, run that, run that, and run that. Yep, I got a true. So this will probably be my final solution. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. I am more than happy to help you as I'm helping many other people. Copy all of that, put it here, and let me just make sure everything looks correct. Yep, all the indentations are good. Move my face. And let's just run the test. Yep, it says 19 out of 19 tests are correct. Let's submit the test and wish for the best. Test passed 34 out of 38. Execution time limit exceeded in the, on test 35. So this is okay. It's just about how much time it takes for the test to run. I tried to, this, to make this really, really simple. But if you want to pass that time limit as well, I have a better solution.